morning, afternoon, or evening, depending where you are right now in the world. Welcome back to Thumper's Lock. It's getting old, isn't it? I have to have to come up with a new one. Anyway, this is um, Monday's challenge pick, in which I try to pick a, pal a challenge lock in under 10 minutes. Um, if I don't, uh, I get whooped and I send that person a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm sure you've heard. I send uh, another challenge lock. I'll send some other locks, uh, my stickers and cards, all kinds of nice stuff just to say thank you for giving me the opportunity of picking on your lock. I picked one out uh, already because I haven't seen uh, a lot of his locks around. And I just went through all that spiel. Cause, but I don't think this is... Uh, let me... Put this down. It's called Polo, um, and it's by Jason Carson. So, Jason, um, Jason hasn't been picking for a while now. He got a teaching job, and he's he's into teaching and uh, um, and doing really well. So, uh, more power to my little brother there. Um, he found his uh, his dream, and he's living it. This is the bidding on the key. Kind of interesting. Um, this has been this has been around a little bit. It's been pinned uh, uh, five fourteen nineteen, so it's been around a little bit. Um, I haven't seen much of his locks around uh, since he stopped picking. Uh, don't know why. I'm, I'm I'm very happy to have gotten this one. So anyway, let's see what we can do about getting in, into this. Let me see if I can use this uh, 1.2. It's got a paracentric keyway. I don't think so. Let me try anyway. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe if I tilt it this way. It just went in a second ago. It's very, very tight. My hands are so sweaty. There we go. Really nice fit. That's the best fit you can want. It's super tight. No play. This is the timer in the background. I hope you can see it. I hope it stands still because I know if I touch it, it's going to go fall down. But here we go. Hey, we're off and running. I'm going to be using this out of my Sparrow set. And let me begin before I waste my time. Nice thin pick. Oh, that'll work. One. Crunching in here. I can get a little crunching. That was still one. Two. I got a little movement in my fingers. I didn't see it move. Three. The nice click. Still on three. Okay. Four. Four seems all right. Five. Five is binding. Went off on my tension a little bit. Nice, okay. I'm counting the pins, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think that was... I gotta start over, darn it. There we go with this cat here. One, two, nice quick one, two. Three, I got counter rotation. Nice, nice. Four, binding. Lighten up my tension. Uh, still binding. All right. Okay, I lost track if that was three or four, so I'm gonna just keep going and shut. My, there we go. Nice click. This is five. Nice. No, that was four. Five. All the way in the back. 
six. Nice. Click on six. Going off this little ledge here. Trying to. One. Without a little moving of my fingers. I can actually do it from down here. It's thin enough. Counter rotation. Nice, I got a little bit of movement. Three. All right, three is good. Four. Nice click, I got some more movement. Five. Waiting up my tension. Nice. Okay, I want to say I have a false set going. Four, five. Five, I think I'm on. I'm not sure it's binding. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Definitely got a false set going. And this is six. Nice. Click on six and movement, too. One. Nice. Two. Got some counter rotation going there. Nice. Definitely a good false set going. Doing good. Doing good. I am only four minutes into this lock. And I lost where I was. One. I got a click out of it. Two is good. Three feels like it's binding again. Lighten my tension. Nice. Deep fall set going. That that was I don't know what that was, but a great click. I'm starting the back so I know what I'm doing. Six. Five is binding. Nice. Four, nice click on four. Bunch of serrations in here, I can feel them. Nice. Nice on one. Start from the back again, seem to be good. Six. Five, nice one on five. Four is binding. Man, that is a very, well, it's a great false set. It's not deep, deep, but it's a good false set. All right, I'm starting the front again. One, got to click out of one. Two feels set. Three is binding. Okay. Four. Five. Nice. Double click out of that, I think. And last pin on the back. Nice click out of six. Bunch of serrations in one. Two is set. Three feels good. Four feels good. Gotcha, baby, on six. I have to talk to Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy, that was easy, huh? That was easy. I knew you were going to say that. Have a good night. All right. Let me see what I got here. I don't need my pick set in the way. Let me just throw this back down here. Oh, that was cool. I like that one. Jason Carson. Man, that guy's treated me so well in the past. He's given me, given me so many picks and made me so many custom picks that... I I can't talk anything but great about that man. Thank you, Jason. I hope you still watch the videos though. All right, we don't need that. I need to get that.
over there where we need to get this open. We need a clipper remover. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we got that there. Turn it a little bit more, put a shim in here. Oops, put the video down so you guys can see. Okay, and a good follower. This works. Um, turn it a little bit more. Oh, I forgot the time anyway. Darn it. Well, we're at 8 minutes now and 12 seconds, so I think I got that somewhere around what you guys will tell me. I, I, I didn't look. I always forget something. But I didn't forget to open it. All right, let's see what we got. Got some anti-drill pins in there. One, very nice serrated, deep serrated, sort of like a spool, but we got a standard and two, standard and three, standard and four, Very nice serrated pin in five and six, a standard. Zoom. We do have some major work done on this one. Let's check it out. We have definitely threading in one. Definitely undercut, really undercut in two. Threading in three, undercut in four. Five is threaded and six is definitely undercut you can see it very deep undercuts very beautiful work there Jason always do always will good job brother all right polo is the name of this one um, all right I wonder how much of this was in the film. I hate when I do that. Put in a little bit more. All right. Number one. Beautiful spool. Steel spring. Two. Really, really nice pin. It's like a, like, uh, it's got double uh, spools like and a serration in the middle. Almost look like a pin and pin. It's not. I'll do a close up on that one for sure. And we got another steel spring. These springs are really kind of tight. Yeah, almost shot out. Yeah, okay. We have a. T pin with a wafer on top of it. Unless that's a yeah, just a wafer. And another steel spring. We got here a beautiful, beautiful serrated spool. Really, really nice. That's where I was getting all that crunching from. And another steel spring. I'm going to go from the other side. Love it. I love these kind of locks, man. I like ovals a lot. All right, a really, really nice serrated pin. Kind of, I mean, it's deep. It's almost like a spool serrated. Only that spring, because I think it's the same. I'll pull it out in a minute. And the last pin here is another 
serrated spool and springs are the same nice tight springs I like that um, sorry about that nothing looks like it's been taken apart there I will give a peeky real quick where's my light and light disappeared okay let just use this big one Yeah, there's nothing done to there. There's no way I got in there without obviously putting any brand new ones. But you can see it's all stock in there. I should never guess. All right, let me show you a close-up of what we got here. Oh, let me show the key. This time I'm not going to forget. Give me one second. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, work day Monday welcome back to work if you want to say that all right here we go number one we got a nice serrated pin in one that's better um, all right two standard three standard four standard five is is got like a, a spoolish kind of top sharp tops serrated uh, and a nice uh, Oh, just a nice pin. What can I say? Uh, last pin six is a standard. Top pin is a spool. Um, you can see we got double spools there with uh, serrations on each one of them. We got a T pin with serrations uh, with a wafer. We got a, a really nice tapered down uh, spool with uh, serrations in it. We got micro serrations and bigger serrations. Um, five has got a bunch of micro serrations in it, and six is just a beautiful looking serrated pin. Yeah, I felt all those serrations too. Um, the springs are all the same, they're nice and stiff. Um, this was the key, and this is Jason Carson's polo. All right, man. Thank you very much for coming back and watching another episode of Thumper's Lockpicking. Hit that like and subscribe button. I did it again. I haven't got whooped that much. I think I only got whooped twice, I think. Um, hit that like and subscribe button. Tell a friend, and don't put your pics in anyone else's locks unless you have explicit permission. Thank you. Try saying that fast. I'm God, guys.